You're wondering what to talk to your kids about? There are seven topics that parents must talk to their kids about. You're getting all seven in today's video. To introduce this, Vicki, let's just acknowledge that it's risky out there. <laughs> here you are on the internet. Did you know that there's less wholesome stuff here than Live On Purpose TV? <laughs> of course you did. Do your kids know that? You bet. And how are they going to know how to stay safe unless we help them? So the first topic is personal safety. You got to talk to your kids about this. Mm -hmm. They need to know where you stand on certain things like internet safety, but also how they interact with strangers. So I'm talking about personal safety in the real world and in the virtual world. We can take that safety even a little bit further and go into the second thing to talk to your child, and that is about alcohol and drug use. You know, we're kind of talking to you about what we want you to introduce and have this conversation with your child. We're not going to tell you what to tell them. You know, mm. but I think it's really important for you to open up this conversation, make sure that they know they're safe talking to you about it and to share some of your ideas about it and where you stand, maybe bring in the morality of it in your culture and your home. And that has to do with all of the topics mm -hmm. that we're talking about here today. But Vic, you make a really important point. Where are they going to be safe learning about this stuff? Right. The we, voices are so loud out there. And yes. for me as a parent, you and I, the way we've decided to parent, the voices that are really, really loud to our children are not the ones I want them to hear most often. I really, right. really want to be a different voice. And that's what we're telling you. So drug and alcohol is something you're going to have to talk with your child about. Can I take a little time out here for mm -hmm. a minute? Because I want to introduce a strategy or a tool that you can apply to all of these topics. Now we'll get to the other five topics because we promised you seven. When are you going to talk to your kids about this? You know, Vicki, this came up in one of our positive parenting coaching groups and I thought it was brilliant because the families in that particular group all decided that they are going to hold a weekly family meeting. Mm. Now, yeah. can you do this sure. as a family? You know, successful corporations do this all the time. Why not have one for your family? We did this, we called it family home evening or family night. Mm -hmm. And every Monday night, everybody knew we're having a family meeting. And it's because we needed to have a time and a place where we could talk about these things. And before we move on from this topic, I would encourage you to set a regular time that you can have this so the kids start to expect it. You can talk about these and other topics during that meeting, but you also want to make sure you have fun and have a treat. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, it does help. Uh, and that creates a draw because if we're not having fun, we're not going to be able to maintain our kids' attention, but create a, a venue where it can do that. So Vicki, our second topic was, was alcohol and other drugs. There's other kinds of risky behavior out there that we need to have our kids have some awareness to, and they might even be more aware of it than you might be sometimes. Definitely. So you have to educate yourself a little bit. In fact, there's a resource I want to point out to you through a nonprofit where I sit on the board. I'm actually one of the founders of Nova Principles. There's a .com for that, Nova, N-O-V-A, principles.com, where we have enormous parent resources available to you. Please go check it out about risky behaviors. And the topic that we want to address with our children as it relates to risky behaviors is this, study, the situation. Knowledge is potential power. You have to actually apply knowledge before right. it has power in your life. What if we could get our kids to study the situation, to look at it, gather the data, get the input, and make a good decision based on what you're able to apply from your knowledge base? That's the third topic, study the situation. And it's, it's such a powerful strategy that they're going to learn in their mm -hmm. lifetime because you know they're doing it in school all the time. You know, right. we're always supposed to be learning from context. So study the situation, decide how you're going to handle it and then make some educated yes, choices. You know, as brilliant as you are and as good of a parent as you are, you don't know everything. 
<laughs> and you cannot possibly list for your child all of the potentially risky situations that they could get into. You want them to do some good thinking, and that's why we're including this as one of the must-talk-about topics. You know, while we're on the topic of using the terms risky business, I think that's a really great way to introduce things to kids is let's talk about the risky business because many of these things that we're talking about have a moral mm -hmm. underpinning yeah. and you've probably shared some of your moral beliefs with your child, but let's talk about the risky part of the actions that we have moral judgment for. And that brings yeah. us to sexuality. It's right. so important to be willing and open in talking with your child about sexuality. Let's take away the taboo and learn how to Absolutely. talk about it. I did a full video on how to talk to, especially teenagers about mm -hmm. sexuality with Natasha Visser, one of our certified coaches at Live On Purpose. Look up that video if you want some hints. She's an expert yeah. on helping parents to have the tools that they need to talk to their kids about sex and sexuality and their bodies. This is something we have to talk to our kids about. I guarantee that they're going to be exposed to all kinds of input about this that you may or may not agree with. Make sure you're having the conversation. So the fifth thing that you must talk with your kids about is respect. Absolutely. Respect for people, respect for themselves, respect for property. And respect for authority as well. Mm -hmm. We've actually implemented these as three family rules. Yeah. And we lump the first one together with respect to yourself and others. Mm -hmm. The second one is respect property. And then the third is respect authority, which means cooperate and obey. If they don't learn to respect people, property, and authority, they're going to have a really hard time in life. Yeah, remember, the reason we want to talk about all of these things with our kids, it's not so that we can flex our muscle as a parent. It's to help them no. enjoy a more productive and happy life. Right. And I have met children, you know, in the schools that have not learned how to respect authority. And mm -hmm. I tell you, they are not enjoying the freedoms and the happiness they could if they would learn that topic. Oh, and I gave three keynotes at the state prison last year. And as I was working with those inmates and it became so clear to me that every one of them is there because of some violation of, of one, one of, of those, those three basic One rules. or more. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, Vicki, I, I get to do number six, Thanks. okay? Number, sure. number six, you must talk to your kids about this. Positivity. I know, big surprise big coming surprise. from me. Right. I am the positivity guy. There are reasons for that. Mm -hmm. In almost 30 years, of clinical practice as a psychologist, I've learned that this is a foundational principle that determines everything. It affects your relationships, it affects your income, it affects your happiness. Mm -hmm. Positivity is at the base of it because the way I define it has to do with how to operate the equipment of your own mind. And as parents, we've got to have that conversation with our kids. You might not be aware enough about that yourself to do this. In the description of this video, there's a link where you can get a free copy of my book, Pathological Positivity. That's going to get you started. There's other things we can go to from there, but I want you to have this conversation with your kids. That brings us to our seventh topic. We promised you, you seven. Here right? it comes. And that is having a discussion about productivity. You know, I think we forget that productivity work, it's a principle of happiness. It is. I actually get into this in one of my training programs mm -hmm. that I do. It's called Happynomics. Right. Isn't that kind of a fun little title? And that's a book that I will eventually make available to you as well. Happynomics has to do with the positive flow of human life, which also ties into our ability to make a profit. That's why I tied it into economics. But Vicki, you're absolutely right. Being productive has some very clear ties to our mental health and our ability to experience joy in life. So it's really important. And think about it. Your kids are consumers. <laughs> all right. Honestly, they consume a lot. As do all of us. We all do. Because as, as mortal human beings, we have to. Mm -hmm. The key here is to produce more than you consume. 
And your kids need to learn that at home because then they can take that out and apply it in other areas of the world. Productivity, um, it made the list. All of the topics that we mentioned here today, you can find other resources and support for here on the channel in the Positive Parenting playlist. We also have coaches who are willing to have a conversation with you about any of these topics. If you want to learn more about that, connect with one of our coaches, drpauljenkins.com forward slash breakthrough call. Hand was down, face locked onto the phone.